Trying to hold up this little piece of paper, if you can read that. I'm not sure you can read this. Unfortunately, I think it's gone out, but you may remember these words that I've written on this, and it was seen all over the world. There you go. Hashtag bring back our girls. On the night of the 14th of April, 2014, nearly 300 female students were kidnapped from a school in the town of Chibok in Bono State, Nigeria. Responsibility for the kidnappings was claimed by Boko Haram, an extremist group based in northeast Nigeria. Uh, the girls were taken because they were trying to get an education. The hashtag, bring back our girls. It trended worldwide in an effort to pressure Boko Haram to release the girls, but to absolutely no avail. To mark the one-year mark, the Wits University Global Shapers community will host a conversation entitled Women's Rights as Human Rights, Challenges and Opportunities for Young African in Achieving Gender Equality uh, with uh, their hashtag, Are Our Girls Back? Uh, Pen uh, Panache Chugumadzi will moderate the discussion and she joins us now in studio. It's good to have you back. Welcome to, welcome to Morning Live. Um, are our girls back? They certainly aren't, but what made <laughs> you come not. up with this hashtag? Well, just firstly to clarify that we're the Global Shapers Johannesburg Hub and right. we'll be hosting the event um, at Wits University. I'm also a Wits student, so perhaps that's why there's a bit of the confusion. Okay. Um, but definitely, they're not back. Um, I mean, there's conflicting reports as to exactly how many girls went missing in the first place, but uh, police say it was 276. Yeah. Uh, there are 219 girls who are still missing. Uh, in fact, I was just reading a report uh, from the Nigerian president who was saying yesterday, um, that when he, or oh, President-elect Muhammadu Buhari, uh, that although he cannot guarantee, uh, he wishes that he can get the girls back um, and he'll work. And, uh, you know, it's, it's in as much as you're trying to manage our expectations, I think, frankly, it's not good enough. Yeah, it's almost hopeless, hopeless um, thoughts and wishes that, you know, maybe exactly. hopefully we can. And, um, you know, this, this discussion that you, you're bringing about, how, how has it been initiated? Talk to me a little bit more about it. Sure. So we are the Global Shapers Johannesburg Hub. Um, it's part of the World Economic Forum. Uh, it's meant to be young uh, people who are seen to be change makers within their communities. And we're coming together to say that, you know, when we're talking about women's rights and women's issues, it's not just a woman's issue. Um, and we're using this to spotlight the, the Nigerian case is just um, symptomatic of wider issues that we have across the continent. It's not purely a Nigerian issue, it's all of our issue. Um, and that's what we want to come and speak about. And I think that's what our hub has decided to do this year, particularly because we found that uh, it, it really isn't prioritized. I think even at World Economic Forum that we're part of, um, issues relating to women are often relegated to only Women's Month, for yeah. example. Yeah. And those are the only uh, periods when you can actually speak about women's issues. And we're saying all year is women's uh, year. We need to be talking about these issues all the time. So that's really the motivation behind speaking to it. It's also the AU's um, Year for Women's Empowerment. Uh, there's also the UN Women's uh, He for She campaign that was uh, released. And it's also 20 years since the Global Platform for Action um, was released uh, or uh, declared. So I think it's a very important year within the scope of women's rights. So that's the background um, for which we then decided to do this event. Talk to me about the event. Can people still attend it at this stage? Definitely. Okay. Um, we're going to be having it at the Wits Business School, Donald Gordon um, Auditorium. Um, we've got some excellent panelists. We've got Yvonne Chaka Chaka, who you know uh, is uh, a UN ambassador. She's done really amazing things for the last 10 years. Um, we have uh, Lebohang uh, Nova Masango, who's a poet and also a UN AIDS ambassador. We've got Ayabonga Tawe, who is the co-founder of Rethink Africa. Africa. Uh, we've also got Mapaseka Steve Letike, who's also a great activist. Last year, she was part of the campaigns locally, going to the Nigerian embassy um, to demand that you know we bring back the girls. So it's a really great panel. Um, audiences can be there. It's at 6:30 for um, seven. You can RSVP anytime. I mean, you can also tweet us at Panache Chig. You can tweet at GS Shapers mm. uh, underscore Johannesburg. Um, and really, there's no. You can continue us RSVPing right until the end. There'll also yeah. be a great time for Q&A, so we're excited for that. What do you think um, discussions like this, what influence do they have? I think the, the danger is always one uh, of being a talk shop. 
Uh, that's something that we always, particularly within the World Economic Forum, we're always targeted for that, for being a talk shop. But I yeah. think the first and foremost uh, is that this is about awareness. The fact is that as you raised in the beginning, there was a hashtag at the beginning of the year, last year, um, and it fizzled out. Nobody's talking about this yeah. anymore. It's no longer top of mind. So this is really important for us to get this top of mind um, within young South Africans and Africans to ensure that we have that solidarity for um, what is happening across the continent. Um, and that's really why the most important aspect. And the second part is to really just come up with solutions. Um, as our uh, to topic is that it's solutions and um, the challenges. We have to look at both to say, mm -hmm. what can we actually do in future? How do we engage government? How do we as young people mobilize? Yeah. So that's really the aim of this discussion. Yeah. I mean, you, we know that there's new leadership now in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Jonathan, uh, is no longer the president. There was a lot of criticism to his reaction. Not that I want to get a political discussion going sure. here from you, but um, mm -hmm. is there still hope? I mean, is there hope from, uh, I know that there are some, you know, sectors out there that are still feel that these girls can be brought back and that, that, that this, this can come to an end, but um, how do you feel? I think that at, the po at this point, we can't rely, continue to rely on our government alone. We have to give them the pressure to ensure that they do something. I think it took a week for Good Luck Jonathan to say anything about it, and that was because of the pressure that was mounting on the government. So then it lies on us as citizens to say that this is not good enough, even within South Africa as well. South African citizens need to place pressure on the South African government, um, on the AU, on the various organizations that are there to make sure that they know that this is a priority for us. People should know that you cannot be elected into any uh, governmental position without addressing these kind of issues. So in that sense, we can say that there's hope, but as it stands right now, we do think that there can be a lot done by the government officials. Yeah, indeed. All right, just a reminder, uh, tonight, 6.30 for 7, uh, it's happening at the Fitz Business School. Mm -hmm. Entrance is free, I imagine. Entrance is free. Entrance is free. Mm -hmm. Join the discussions. Um, it's going to be a wonderful discussion with some incredible people in attendance, as you heard from uh, Ivan Chaka Chaka, UN AIDS, other foundations also taking part in this discussion. Uh, the hashtag for the event, are our girls back? We know the answer to that, but... How do we try and rectify the situation and make sure this never happens again? Thanks for joining us. Uh, Panache Chigomadzi, who is going to be um, overseeing this particular panel. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us here on the program to talk about it. Let's take a quick break here.